Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 tutorials for beginners video series by Dynamics Academy. In this video series we will see top 10 tools for Microsoft Dynamics 365 development. Having said that, in this video we will see one of the most useful but least popular tool called Level Up which is nothing but Google Chrome browser extension. My name is Abhishek Doria and I will be your host in this video. agenda of this video is we will first see what is level up for Dynamics 365 or Power Apps. Then we will see what are the list of features that are available in this level up for Dynamics 365 or Power Apps. After that we will see brief overview of each of these features one by one and then I will show you the list of useful references or resources where you can find this tool and other useful tools as well. So let us now see what is level up for Dynamics 365 over Power Apps? So friends, basically level up for Dynamics 365 is a Google Chrome browser extension that can quickly perform advanced or hidden actions in Dynamics 365 or CRM without bookmarklets. This extension helps Dynamics CRM users to perform advanced actions that normally require manual intervention. I would like to mention that this tool is free of cost. You can download this tool by clicking this link here I will put this link in the description box as well so in nutshell level up for dynamic CRM or 365 is a Google Chrome browser extension with the help of which you can perform so many different actions that would otherwise you need to do manual or lot more processing for that so let us now see what are this list of features that are available in level up for dynamics 365 Basically, there are so many different features or plugins available in Level Up for Dynamics 365, which can be broadly categorized into three categories. One is forms. These are the actions that you can take on one particular form, record form. So you can see the list of form actions in Level Up for Dynamics 365 on your screen. The next category is called navigational actions, which means that by performing this action you will be able to navigate to specific type of record or you can perform navigational operations within your Dynamics 365 easily and lastly are the grid actions which are nothing but the whenever there are grids on your screen you would like to take these actions on that so basically there are these are categorized into three broad categories so let us now understand a brief overview of each of these different types of actions in level up for Dynamics 365. So you can see the first type of actions are called form sections. These features or functions can be used only on record forms. It cannot be used for navigations or views or any other place in Microsoft Dynamics 365 or Power Apps. You can see the list of useful form actions and I have highlighted in yellow the most common utilized form actions which are nothing but the logical name what it does is it displays the logical name for fields tabs and sections so basically when you are developing one particular code or a plugin or a custom uh, workflow then many a time you need to write or find the logical names of 
one particular field then what you need to do you have to either navigate to the form open the form editor and then go to that particular field and you can find the one particular logical name of that particular field but using this action you will be able to easily see logical names of all the fields that are present on that form other one is the god mode this makes all mandatory fields optional makes hidden fields tabs sections visible and at the same time it also makes the read only fields editable so this is nothing but a super power that you will get once you enable this god mode so this becomes very much useful at the time of testing another most commonly used plugin are called change fields what it does is it it highlights the fields in the form that has been changed but not yet saved and another super useful plugin or actions is record id it displays the current record id in a dialog this id can be copied from dialog and can be dismissed or used anywhere in your code so this is one of the highly utilized form action for level up which is record id it will give you the record id of the current record and last one is show option set values so this is also another useful tool at the time of development where it will display all the values of all the option set on that particular form so let me now show you demo on to my trial instance how you can use this form action so now i will switch to my trial instance so let me now show you how you can install this loop Google Chrome extension. So one thing you need to make sure is that if you want to use this tool, then you need to use Google Chrome browser. And for that, you need to first search level up Chrome extension or Dynamics 365 or CRM. You can see the search value. And what it does is it will take you to the Google Chrome web store. here i have already installed this level up for dynamics 360 or power apps that's why it is showing you remove from chrome otherwise you will get install button you have to just simply click install then it will show you this particular icon on your browser google chrome browser so after that what you need to do is you need to navigate to your crm or dynamics 365 trial instance this is my dynamics 365 trial instance you can see this is the default home page and if you want to see use the level up for dynamics 365 for power apps you click on this icon and it will show you all the different actions for that particular form so right now these are the forms actions that you can see these many forms actions that you can take if you want to change the category you have to select the category which is navigation these are the different navigational action and last one is nothing but the grid actions so right now we are discussing the form action so in order to do that what you need to do is you have to open one particular record form so right now i am navigating to accounts i am opening the first record form which is a datum corporation so right now i have opened the a datum corporation and now i can use the different form action on this particular record so let me now click the logical name so here you can see now the logical name of this particular fields all the fields and the tabs are shown up on your screen you can see map section website url fax telephone one name primary contact id these are nothing but the logical name of this particular field and it will display the logical name of all the fields and tabs present on this form so now if you want to hide or go back to pre previous state then clear logical name then it will clear the logical name now that another most useful action is god mode at the time of testing many a times you need to do certain kind of testing so here what it will happen is it will enable all the fields if it is locked for you it will remove all the mandatory fields and at the same time if there are some fields which are read only then it will make them editable so that you can enter a proper value to that this becomes very much useful when you are unit testing one particular application if there are multiple validations or constraints present on your form another most commonly used 
action is recorded for example right now if you want to get the record id of this particular uh record then what you need to do you have to go back to this url and then here you have to find the id column and it will show you this particular id or another one is and click email a link it will open this particular link from that mail and here you can find the id of that particular record but let's say if you are working on one particular vm or the server where this crm is hosted then many a times you do not find this mailbox applications on the server you don't find outlook on your server and not only outlook any other mail application so you will not be able to use this email a link feature which is available out of the box so instead what you can do is you can use the record id action of the level up so right now you can see record id has been copied click okay and the moment you wherever you want to use in your code or if you want to just double check it you simply paste it and this is nothing but the record id of this particular record so this becomes very much useful uh it will also show you the change fields you can get all the option set values what it will do it will open all the option set values present on particular form in a new tab here you can see the labels and the values so these are the highly used not only that you will find so many other form actions that you can use for your testing or development or regular day to day work this will definitely save your at least 5 to 10 minutes of your daily routine work let us now see the what are the different types of navigational actions these actions or features or functions can only be used for the navigations and it cannot be used on forms views or any other place in microsoft dynamics 365 or power apps so screen you can see what are the different navigational actions that are present in level up for dynamics 365 you can also find a brief description of what it does actually in dynamics 365 so let me now show you a demo of navigational actions as well again i have navigated back to my dynamics 365 trial instance click on this level up icon again click go to navigational actions and here you can see the different types of navigations that you can perform so if you want to open a record by id then you need to have that record id or if you want to open a new record for example right now you are into account entity and if you want to create a new contact entity then what you need to do you have to first navigate to contacts and you have to navigate to contacts and then click on this new icon but instead what you can do is i will i will again switch back to accounts what you can do here is you can click on this new record you just need to give the logical name of that particular entity that you want to create record i am creating a contact record i'm typing contact which is nothing but the logical name of the contact entity and what it will do is it will open a contact new form in new tab so you may be anywhere in the crm navigation not only on accounts you can be on dashboard you can be in settings area you can be anywhere and from there you can create a new record by typing the logical name of that particular entity so let me now show you another navigational features which is nothing but the let's say if you want to navigate to solutions area which is so you can be anywhere in the crm and by just clicking this action you will be taken to the solutions page of dynamics 365 in a new tab so similar to that there are so many other navigational actions for example processes you can directly you will be navigated back to the processes area in dynamics 365 which is also another common commonly navigated place in dynamics 365 more frequently when you are writing or customizing a workflow similar to that you will find so many different navigational actions as well so having said that let us now see the last type of 
features grid level of actions this feature or functions can be used only on the grids or subgrids it cannot be used on forms navigations or views or any other place in microsoft dynamics 365 or power apps as of now there are only two grid actions available in level up for dynamics 365 or power apps chrome extension which is nothing but a new window and quick find fields what it does is new window will display the current grid or a saved query in a new window and the quick find field will display the search fields for the current entity that is displayed in the grid let me now show you a demo of these two actions as well so again i have navigated back to my dynamics 365 trial instance if you want to use any grid actions then navigate to one particular grid on your screen and then click on this level up icon click on this grid icon and what it will if i click new window what it will do is it will take this particular grid into a new tab you see now this what it has done is it has taken this my active views into a new, new tab itself so having seen that let us now see the last grid actions which is quick find fields what it will do is it will display the list of quick find attributes configured for this particular entity so this entity is account entity that we will discuss in one of the other videos what are quick find attributes so having said that let me now show you the resource location meaning where you can find or install this level up for dynamics 365 Google Chrome extension. You can find this resource on this particular link, which is displayed on your screen. I'll put this link in the description box as well. You can also find other very useful tools required during the development in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Having said that, I wind up my video here. I thank you for watching this video till the end. So, if you have learned something new out of this video, then please like, share. and subscribe to dynamics academy and also press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update whenever we release a new video to our dynamics academy youtube channel and on that note i end this video and take your leave hope to see you all in the next video till then bye bye and take care and once again thank you for your time